YouTube, man, what's good with y'all? It's your boy, Nana the Swole, Nana the Chosen One, <laughs> Nana the Glow. Man, it feels good to be back with another, I mean, another video for you guys, man. Listen up, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share my videos, okay? We going to the top. I appreciate you guys for 23,000 subscribers. You know, even though I'm dealing with some things behind the scenes, guys, um, and I probably won't be here for a while. So you, all these videos you guys may see will be pre-recorded. You know, I have some things that I'm dealing with behind the scenes. I'm not going to talk about it um, just yet, you know, because obviously it's a family thing. So I just want to make sure um, I keep it off of YouTube for now. And when things get sorted or, you know, we, we kind of have everything going smooth, then I'm going to start talking about it. But keep your boy in your prayers. I'm going to keep you guys in my prayers whilst I'm gone. Okay. I, I love you guys, man. But I appreciate you guys for 23K. And let's get into the video, man. Let's get into the video. Guys, masturbation. You know, when I speak uh, on these things, guys, it's because I used to be that person. You know, I'm on semen retention now. You can, you can see it in me, bro. You know, I, there's nothing else I got to say. But these videos that I'm bringing you guys, I want you guys to truly sit down and, and take it in. But a lot of you guys see you listen to my videos when you're going to the gym, you, you, you're going to work. You know, that's that's some real love right there, man. I appreciate you guys. But, bro, masturbation is killing your desire to want real women. Porn is fake. If nobody's told you that yet, none of the soul will tell you. Porn is fake, bro. They're just doing that for the dollar sign. They're just doing that to get a check. They're just doing that to get paid, guys. They don't care about you, okay? They don't. If they cared about you, they wouldn't be doing what they did. They're, they only care about themselves. It's, it's, they're being selfish, okay? This is what it truly comes down to, man. When you watch The Hub, when you masturbate, okay, especially when you're addicted, you're gonna lose that drive that we all have as human beings to want to procreate, okay? We want to procreate. A lot of you guys wanna procreate. I know I wanna procreate. I know I wanna have a mini, a mini me walking around. I know in the future, I, I definitely want kids, man. I don't care how many I want. To be honest, if, if it was, you know, if my wife agrees, I bro, I will want about 10 to 15 kids. <laughs> All right, let me chill, let me chill. 10 to 15 is kind of crazy, right? But, I, bro, I don't mind. I don't mind having that many kids because I know the Lord will provide for me. I'm a man of God. You know, there's nothing that the, that the Lord will not give me. You know, we don't lack anything as, as children of God. You wonder why when you're on this journey, random, you know, blessings come in your life. Guys, it's because God is rewarding you. He sees the work you're putting in. But when you sit in there masturbating, you're stripping all that drive that you will want to procreate with a woman with, you know, go meet real women in real life. You're losing that drive. You're losing that type of uh, essence, you know, because your your masculinity stems from what you got within you guys. It's not the money, the jewelry, clothes. None of that is real masculinity. Just for me to break it down to you. None of that is going to make you a man. Because when all those things get taken away from you, who are you? Who are you? right that's it's very important for you to understand that you know if all of the things that you've had you know even me if i lose all the shoes the clothes the the my car my money if i lost it all right at least listen at least i will know who i am in christ i will know who i am and who god has called me to be i already know my purpose bro i already know who god has told me i am so even if i lose those things i'm already following the lord I haven't picked up the world. I don't want the world. I want Christ. I want to continuously follow Christ because that is where everlasting life is. That is where real blessings are. Not not into following the world. That is not that is not real, guys. I'm telling you, man, you, you got to you got to see it in this perspective. You don't have to be religious. You just got to see it. What God truly intends for us. Right. A lot of people don't know why they're here. A lot of people uh, struggle in life. They're questioning what, you know, just depression is upon them because they don't know why they're truly here. Well, if a man doesn't have purpose, he cannot truly thrive in life. Listen, if a man don't got purpose, he cannot thrive in life. He won't thrive, bro. He's going to be feeling depressed. That is, it's real life stuff because I used to be there, bro. I didn't know my purpose back in the day when I was 16, 15, 14, 17, 18. You know, I mean, when I was around 17, 18, I started to have an idea, but now I'm 21, bro. It, it's picked up pretty quick. You know, it's picked up pretty quick. I know exactly why I'm here. You know, I'm supposed to be saving souls and giving you guys this, this wisdom that God has given me. 
because I'm on this path, bro. <laughs> I'm on this path, bro. So you're not alone. You're not the only one, you know, on this journey. But I remember back then, bro, when I used to masturbate, bro, when I used to watch porn, you know, not only is it fake, but it just takes so much from you, man. It really does, bro. You know, it took all my willpower. You know, for, I, at first I didn't, I couldn't hit the gym. I was so nervous. I was so uh, anxious. You know, I was, my self-esteem was very low. That's what porn does. It strips you from your self-esteem as a man. You know, it takes so much from you, bro. And they gain so much from it. You know, just by you, them taking your power, just by, you know, them promoting it. And they're taking so much from you. You're giving them so much, guys. You're giving them so much. You know, all your depression. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of men's depression, mental health issues comes from porn. I, I can't make this up. You know, I can't make this up. The reason why is because a lot of guys think that if they watch it, you know, that pleasure that they feel, it's the best thing they've ever felt. So they're just going to continuously do it. They're addicted now. That's where you get addicted. Masturbation is something that if you continuously do, you're not going to want a real relationship, bro. You're going to think all women are objects. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you. Guys, I'm spitting fags right now, bro. You know, I'm sp I, I get so passionate about this because it is so true. It is so, so, so true. You know, you lose that desire to really want to talk with women in real life. You sitting there watching her on OnlyFans. You sitting there watching her on IG. Guys, you know, you simping over her on social media. Why can't you go up to her and talk to her in real life? You know, ask yourself that. What is holding you back? Especially if you really want this woman, right? If you really see her, you know, as somebody you want to pursue, talk to her, bro. What are you doing? You know, why are you stalling? Why are you, you know, kind of like pushing it back? You're just in your head. You're overthinking. That's the word I'm looking for. You're overthinking. You know, I'm telling you, when you get on Seymour Attention, when you get on NoFap, all that overthinking, out the window. Okay, of course, you got to put in some work. It's not just going to automatically leave. You got to put in some type of work to see that overthinking fade away over time. Start hitting the gym. Start making money. Start praising God more. Put him first. Okay? Just be overall, start to become a real man. I'm telling you, bro. You know, you're not going to be afraid of women, okay? A lot of guys are afraid. They're afraid to approach a woman, you know? We all have that feeling, guys, especially when you're attracted to somebody, even me. You know, I, I won't say I'm, I get, you know, antsy like I used to. I, I remember back in the day, it was like, bro, back, <laughs> back in the day, it was so bad, bro. I remember I used to sweat. Like, when I used to see a woman I liked, I remember my, my palms started to get sweaty. <laughs> but I remember this like it was yesterday, bro. My palms get sweaty, right? I start fidgeting. You know, that's a guy who has low self-esteem, low confidence. That used to be me. But now, when I'm attracted to a woman, you know, I may have a little bit of butterflies going on, right? Because that's attraction. That's how it happens. You know, I may, you know, I may be feeling some type of way a little bit. You know, everybody has a type of way to kind of uh, show their interest. So when you're interested in somebody, you're going to be a little bit nervous. Everybody's going to get that. You know, nobody's just automatically perfect with not being nervous. No, no, no. It don't matter if you're on retention or not. Don't don't let that fool you. You still going to have some type of nerves in you. That, that just shows you're human. You have some type of emotion. But this journey helps you control it better. Okay. You're able to really go through with it. You know, even though you're nervous, you're still probably going to approach her. You're still going to ask her for her number. You're still going to be like, you know, I think, hey, you're very attractive. What is your name? And you, you know, you, you give her the handshake or whatever. The way y'all be raising up. I, that's how I raise up. You know, but I know for a fact that when I used to masturbate, bro, my my drive for for wanting to speak with women was completely gone. I didn't, I didn't want to do it, bro, because I was nervous. My confidence was low, you know, and that comes from watching too much porn. You're going to look at them and be like, oh, she's a sex object. That is the, that's the Coomer's mindset. A Coomer's mindset is, oh, she's just an object. I just want to smash. I just want to get in her pants. That is the Coomer's mindset. A guy on retention, he has an abundance mindset. That's the difference. A guy on SEMA retention, a guy on NoFap, a guy self-disciplining, right, himself, not just sexually, but in all aspects, He's going to really, really have an abundance mindset. That's why the attraction comes to you, bro. Because women can tell that, hey, you know, this guy, he probably got some, he, he, he can get women. You know, so they're going to be attracted to you more. When women know you can get other women, they like you. 
But when you a guy watching all these porn videos, bro, I'm telling you, it's, it's corrupting your mindset, bro. It's giving you a weird energy, right? Not only is it draining your life essence from you, but the other effects are insane, bro. It is insane. Guys, this is science, too. If you don't believe me, try this out. Try this out, bro. Go on certain streaks of not masturbating and see how the difference is. Feel the difference. I'm telling you, there's a major difference, bro. There's a major... I wouldn't just be saying this if there wasn't really a difference. I've been in that position where, you know, I was the same guy behind the camera, just like you, watching somebody talk about this. And I was like, oh, this is bull, right? Oh, this is, this is, this is cat. Right, I used to say this person is lying. What are they talking about? I didn't want to hear it back in the day, but now that I'm on it and I've done it ever since I was 17, on and off, I've done high streaks. I'm on a, I'm on a high streak right now. I got the torch, can't lose it. Okay, but I'm on one right now, and bro, <laughs> I'm glad I stuck stuck with it because bro, you guys have seen it. My life has changed, bro. It has completely changed, bro. And I'm just getting started. I'm still in my early 20s, bro. I'm 21. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm 30, you know, or, or 35 or 40. You know, it doesn't even matter when you discover this. Guys, it don't matter. I'm just being grateful for the fact that I discovered it so early, bro. Because I know there's a lot of success ahead of me. I know there's a lot of blessings ahead of me, bro. Because I figured this out. You know, this is one of the hardest things to figure out. So the fact that we've been able to acknowledge this, the fact that God has put us on this, it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. But I just wanted to give you guys this quick video, bro. You know, and, and make you understand how masturbation really kills your desire to want women in real life. You know, the por porn is fake. You know, I'm gonna keep saying it because it's fake. It's not real, bro. That's not how sex was meant to be. Sex is a, a sacred thing, right? You know, porn makes it seem like it's, uh, it's, it's, it's rough. You know, it, guys, you know, it's just so sick. It, it's just so sick, you know? Um, there's a lot of weird things that go on on those websites. A lot of weird things. And I'm glad I've been able to be saved. I've been saved from going on there because it's nothing but a distraction. Second of all, it's evil. Okay. And third of all, guys, it is just draining you of your life. And fourth, it is taking your relationship with God, right? It's not giving you that relationship with God that you've always wanted. It's creating, um, you and God have enmity, right? God has, God has this type of What's the word I'm looking for? What's that word I'm looking for? God has this type of, um, he's looking at you, but he's looking away. He's looking the other way. That's the word, right? He's just looking the other way, right? He loves you, but he, he can't, you know, kind of move in your life because you're still living in sin. That's the secret right there. You know, you're probably waiting for breakthroughs. You're probably waiting for your life to change. How is your life going to change if you're still doing the same things you're doing? Take a risk. Do something different. Okay. If this video inspired you in any way, shape, or form, share the video, like, comment, do all that good stuff, man. Um, more videos are on the way, right? You guys are going to see a lot of pre-recorded videos before I, you know, go take care of business. Um, so, yeah, whenever I'm back, you guys you guys will know I'm back. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy all the videos you guys will, will get. In the meantime, you guys can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. But keep your boy in your prayers, man, and I'll keep you guys in my prayers, bro. I just want to drop this quick gem. Quick gem, quick gem, man. More videos coming for y'all, man. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. I love you guys, man. And until next time, until you guys see me uh, really back, back, you guys will know. I'm going to tell you guys I'm back. But these videos are all pre-recorded, man. I love y'all, and I'm out. Peace.